Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, season 11, episode 1. I can't believe we've made it to the final season of the series. April 2022, we started this, and we are now in October 2023. This is probably the biggest commitment I ever did take on in my life. And it's been totally worth it. But now it's time for things to come to an end. So let's get into it. Should I have refreshed my memory before I started this? Because what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, this is like a minefield. Just without mines, but with walkers. Why are these walkers not doing anything? Do walkers sleep? What is that? <laughs> no, I am not. I'm like, yes, you got it. What have you got? Oh my god, I knew something bad was going to happen. Nothing can ever go smoothly around here. Can we not just quickly stab that walker in the head before it becomes a nuisance? Okay, maybe not. Carol, just get on the pulley, or whatever it's called. I feel like you got everything you needed. Oh wait, no, there's more of this, whatever it is. And that was very... Quiet, non-speaking, silent start to the final series, season. Oh, they is living together like happy families who are not happy and who are not families. Shoulders. <laughs> I miss you too, man. It's good to see you, Max. Good to see you too, Duncan. Hey. How you guys were? <laughs> that him? Oh my god, Maggie's come with a gang. The people that attacked us, we only knew two things about them. They come at night. And by the time you see him, you're already dead. Oh. <clears throat> okay. That was before we caught one. But if they slaughtered everyone once, what the hell makes this situation any different? Duncan, Agatha, and Frost are Meridian's best fighters, and now I have them. And hopefully some of you, too. Maggie, this sounds like a suicide mission. I know. All right, this way. Not to sound like a broken record, but I think we ought to take a breath, hunker down, and wait for this storm to pass. You don't want to go in there? No. No, I don't. Hey, can I talk to you? What is that? We're buddies or something? Oh my god. Uh, I mean, I know he killed Glenn, but that was a million years ago. <laughs> oh my god, there's the stormtroopers again. 
I briefly forgot about these and my people that are with them. Hello. <laughs> Well, how do you get orange and everyone else is in white? I've got so many questions. We are auditors for the Commonwealth. You are under level one assessment. If you pass what? inspection, you'll move to level two. What if we don't pass uh! inspection? You will go through reprocessing. What did your parents do for a living? Um, I don't think I signed up to be assessed, if I'm honest with you, sir. Any history of cancer? No. Tell me about the goiter. It's a benign growth I've had it since childhood. Of drug use? Define drug. I was a proud founding member of the anti-drug and alcohol coalition at my high school. How many bowel movements do you have a day? Are you taking the piss? Did your mother work outside the home? I told you. Grace Baptist Church. What's the location of your settlement? You already asked that one. What was your highest level of educational attainment? Location of your settlement. What settlement? Have you run into any groups out there? We've... Oh my god. Why are we answering all these questions? You've been standing there not saying a damn word like you're the man in charge. I enjoy an orange. I'm in charge. I bet you're not in charge. What did you do before the fall? Let me guess. Asshole beat cop. That's why this fascist crap comes so easy to you. Look at you. Oh! I've been cooperative. My people have been cooperative. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, Ezekiel, don't start dying. She's gonna start questioning that again. Why don't we spend the next seven hours interrogating you bitches? Like, who are you? Who cut your fringe? Why are you wearing orange? <laughs> Ezekiel, do they no, know? They don't know. It'll be fine. They seem to... I think they know. They might not I know I said you. don't worry about it. So, we're in some kind of detention centre. Does anyone else think the Commonwealth might not be real? Yes, Yumiko, thank you. I assume you would think otherwise, but it doesn't matter. Never mind. Time to get out. We no, 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 no. Maybe we should just get honest with the heat. Oh, well, so no. you, know, you mean the soldier no. cops? Yeah, that's funny. No. You really want these guys running up the hilltop of Alexandria with their machine gun swords? Sorry to bother, but you mind me asking how long you've been here? For four months. Nine. Right. It's been nine, remember? All right, yeah. The, the reprocessing. What? I ain't got time to be here for no four months or nine months or even one month. Stop, stop. Wait, 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 what did I do? Where are you taking me? Reprocess. Is this reprocessing? Reprocessing? Even an actual thing? Or is it just their way of keeping people here for four months or nine months? Okay, gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. What do we keep stumbling on? I knew you were going to do that. Why didn't he make any noise? I don't know. Oh, my days. What happened to you? Are you sure all of them were killed during the fall? I do not think so. Oh my god! What were you getting up for? You was not invited to get out of your bag. And I bet you, you won't get a thank you for that. This kid almost died. 
Man, you don't give a shit about that kid. No, she doesn't give a shit. She has been playing dictator since we left. Not listening to oh. me, not listening to him. These rot bags could still be down here. Has that thought crossed anyone's mind? Exactly. It has. Nico and I am on your side. Knock yourselves out, but not me, not today. I am out. Me too. Oh! He, he's a dick, but he makes sense. <laughs> yeah. If we get through this, I'm not coming back. She'll find a way, she'll find a reason, she'll do it herself. Oh, at least you're aware, I suppose. <laughs> Look, you all want to put your lives in her hands. Her head isn't even in the game because I'm in her head, living rent free. Oh. So Maggie, me dying on your terms, it ain't happening. So what do you say? I am not gonna let you drag me through the mud, filth, and slime to put me down like a dog, like Glenn was. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why would he mention his name? It's always on my mind. I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong about me because you aren't. The woman who left six years ago is not the one standing over you now. So keep pushing me, Negan. Please. You two need to sit down with a therapist and talk out your problems. <laughs> you know their names? Yeah. You can tell them apart. You can? Okay, we're wasting time. <laughs> Hold on, princess. How can you tell them apart? And then I remember things about people, you know, like Zell is from Cleveland, Livitz hurt his leg, so he favors the left one. Oh, and <laughs> Livitz and Zell are having sex, but they don't want anyone to know. Oh. Tell me more, you is my kind of girl, let's get gossip. Or is she just all in her head? One of them takes off, and then like three minutes later, the other one disappears too. Gone for about an hour, my home at Probably most of the time, it's been taking off their armor. <laughs> Wait there. Oh, ha, ha, ha. If the observation skills are right, while well, them two are having hanky panky, we got all still in their clothes. Hey, where are you taking those two? Reprocessing. Move along. How far are we gonna get though? Can we not take some of that money while we go as well? What? We have a straight shot to the back gate, but we gotta go now. Let's go. Come on, princess. We can cry over this in a minute. Mira. Isn't that you? Wait, what? Wait, what? Have you seen my sister, Miko? Contact Tomi. I... She can't leave. I have to stay. Yeah. Where is your sister? And now if one stays, we've all got to stay. But it seems so boring now. All they do is ask the same old questions. Don't they have like a jukebox or something to pass the time? Gage! Roy? Has anyone seen them? They took our supplies. It's this asshole's fault. He scared them off. Yeah, 
He's going to save her. And then it's just going to be some weird, awkward dynamic. Is he going to save her? Negan, you best save her. You owe her a lot. <gasps> no way. Oh my god, he did not save her. <laughs> Savage. Alright guys, the episode and thus the beginning of season 11 has kicked off, is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. Do not even know what I'm saying. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have sat down to film today. I feel delirious. So what we had is Maggie, Negan, Daryl, Carol, all of that lot. They were on an episode long mission because they need food. Because taking in new communities, they is running out of supplies quick. So they need to look for supplies. But they're surrounded by sleeping walkers who sometimes sleep and sometimes don't sleep. And Negan and Maggie, they often they hate each other. And Negan's like, Maggie, you obviously just want to kill me. So just hurry up and kill me. And Maggie's like, I'm trying my hardest not to kill you, but it's so hard because I really want to. And that must have been ringing in Negan's head right at the end, because when Maggie needed saving, he looked down at her and was like, my Felicia. And he just kind of left her. And over on the other side of town, or wherever it is, we've got Eugene, Princess, Ezekiel and Miko. And they are, I don't know, being processed for some Commonwealth thing with the Stormtroopers. And they just keep getting interrogated over and over again and they are so bored of it and they just want to leave. So when they start to leave, they notice that there's this wall of Commonwealth... I don't know what it's a wall of, but it's lots of pictures and lots of notes. And on that wall, we found a note from Miko's sister, Tomi. Um, so we're like, oh my god, we need to stay in this processing cage plant thing. So we might get a family reunion from them. Do you know what I was thinking though during this? was, um, oh my gosh, I miss Rick and Michon. I mean, I know I've been without them for a little while now, but I don't know, the season premieres with no Rick and no Michon whatsoever. It was, um, jarring to my senses. But that is it. Season 11 is underway. I've only got like 22, 23 more episodes with you guys. I promise moving forward I'll be a slightly higher energy. I ain't gonna lie, I've literally just woke up and I haven't had my coffee yet. But I know the excitement will kick up as we delve deeper into the season. I'm excited and I'm also sad. Tis truly the beginning of the end. But I'm ready to smash it out and regardless of what happens in this season, we, as a community, are gonna end it on a high. So if you wanna be with me while I finish off The Walking Dead, and you ain't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Down in the comments section, let's talk all things Season 11 Premiere. What were your thoughts on it? Was it an ideal start to a season? Considering you guys know the full story. But let me know, but keep it spoiler free. If you can. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm tired. So yeah, I'm going to go get a coffee and I shall see you in Episode 2. And until then guys... Stay safe out there.